I traded Forex with only $7 and the results were overwhelming. So I'm going to be showing you how I got these trades, why I was closing off my profits, why I got stopped out, the leverage on the account, and finally the risk management approach on this account. All I want from you guys is to pay close attention. I just want you guys to see how I was getting these trades, why I scaled in, so you can apply the same approach. And by the way, this works whether you are trying to save grow small account or trade on any big account it all works so i got the idea because back in the days i used to trade on small accounts flip them to some amount more often blow them up but then at some point i got something different and it's the same thing that i'm going to be showing you in today's video so with that let's go into it so i find this account with only seven dollars just like how you guys can see and then the first trade that i took was euro jpy so i opened up with 0 0.02 so basically for these trades i was opening them up on the m15 watching them no stop loss but i was watching say if the price hits this point then i'm going to close off immediately so took the first trade euro jpy got about three dollars and then closed it off so i was more of scalping because i'm watching the trade and then once it goes against me i close off immediately then the second trade that i took was gbpsd so i opened up two trades at a go 0.04 and 0.01 beautiful trade the trend was the downside and i caught it pre-london so as the session was opening i got in and caught up some beautiful trades closed off with about seven dollars 1.77 and then the next one that i took was AUDUSD. now i messed up at some point opened up AUDUSD while it was still in a pullback so i closed off before the drawdown was big then the other one i went ahead and called gbpusd 15 dollars 15 dollars with 0.05 now if you guys can notice i started increasing the lot sizes as my account increased so 0 0.05 0 0.05 that's about 0 0.1 caught about 30 dollars that's the biggest trade so far and then the other one i caught usdchf 0.03 about four trades and i let them to run overnight so for those ones i had to place a stop loss because i wasn't watching them got some good profits so i'm currently at 59 dollars so i'm going to show you the breakdown and how i actually got these trades now if you want to trade with this broker click the link just down in that description below and by the way i have a leverage of about one to a thousand on this account now this is something that you must understand so the bigger the leverage obviously the bigger the risk but again on the other side that means you can actually be able to open up bigger positions on that small account so if you're looking at growing small accounts that's a good idea you can use at least one to a thousand let it not exceed that but again be risk conscious like how you're going to see now if you want to learn more about trading and making money online be sure you subscribe and if you are enjoying this video you can also smash the like button and let's get back straight into the video all right so let's dive into the charts now so the first trade that i took was euro jpy and this is what i looked out for so basically i was trading breakouts waiting for the price to continue in the original direction and then i'm in so looking out on your jpy i can see that it was in some sort of a consolidation so i drew at this level so i had this one up right here okay that being a key level and then i also had one down here being a beautiful key level now all i was waiting for was to see the price react over this point because the first time it happened once twice three, uh, three times and now this was the fourth time so all i wanted was to see the price bouncing off and it happened but then i didn't panic to take the trade immediately because there's something so important if there is any reaction at a key level you shouldn't be the first person to take a trade so in this case think about it so say well i can see the price is bouncing off this point let me take the trade immediately you can't be sure because more often this is what stop loss hands happen and all that so all i wanted was for the price to bounce off just like what it did and then break the previous key level now this this level that i drew out was the level where i wanted the price to basically break through and then i would take that trade and once it happened got that trade in my tech profit was just very small because i was sort of scalping and then coming down to m5 uh, to m5 
this is how it looked like all right so on m5 took that trade and this is how we played out with it um straight and there we go so we hit take profit on the first trade very beautiful the trend was still on and more often enough i will possibly be looking out for more trades until the price comes back to this level this level right here because this is the main key level currently so i just want to see the price come over down up to here all right so the second trade that i took was AUD USD and again same thing now AUD USD was in a downtrend now remember we trade with a trend I personally always emphasize trading with a trend looking on uh, the fourth hour time frame it's a very clear downtrend and we also had some levels that were being respected right over here okay as you guys can see initially the price is pushing to a downside straight and now we had some sort of consolidation and obviously if the price wasn't breaking above then it was continuously coming to a downside and that's what i wanted and yes it was happening an impulsive move was on already and i went ahead and took the trade on about the m15 and then scaled down to m5 and this is why i messed up slightly it was just a very small mistake but on a small account it's worth it so it's better to prevent then regret well i took this trade and this happened so this is why i got in i got in when the trade was in an impulsive move so a slight pullback stopped me out didn't want to lose the account and then i closed off so this is how it played out and straight so got stopped out i closed off the trade with very small losses about 0.8 dollars or something very small and caught it off but the trade later came into my direction so i'll also be looking out for more trades on here it's very easy the setup is still the same the trade is still in a continuous downtrend and remember once we have the trend established then we are good so we just have to look out for those levels so you can see that the price later came over to the right direction caught it big there we go now the next trick that i took was gbp usd now all pairs of gbp usd euro usd Jep, uh, euro jpy gbp jpy were all in a beautiful downtrend so it was a very very good run that i just capitalized on now this is by the way a very important thing that you must do once you are trading on these small accounts or you need beautiful bigger moves then look out for the trend it's going to easen up your whole process by like 90 percent it's going to ease another process now check this out such a beautiful trade look the trend is very clear with a very clear downtrend and all i wanted to see was the price push down so i marked out this level here obviously expected the price to at least break even through here but now since i was sort of scalping i couldn't wait for all that big move to happen so what happened was got in my trade going to the m15 um actually here i took two trades i first closed off the first ones and then later opened more once i saw that the trend was still on and it was beautiful so here we go on m15 this other trade played out there we go tech profit hit again i later scaled in more trades right around here somewhere here using the same concept same approach and yeah caught one more beautiful trade and now that's when i increase the lot sizes now the whole concept again is obviously the more your account is going bigger then you have a chance to increase your lot sizes because now you can make bigger money on that account so this is how i caught up this beautiful sales on gbpsd again just an overall look the trend is the downside looked for the price to break through this level and then boom so you can also call this a breakout strategy or something like that and then lastly on usdchf now remember usdchf has an opposite move as compared to gbpsd and 
euro usd so i just came out i was actually looking at usd jpy too but then this had a better move because it was just on a pullback so it was a very beautiful trade to take so looking at it remember us uh, jpp usd was in a downtrend and now what should we expect we should expect usd chf to be in a beautiful uptrend so you guys can see that uh the price is pushing to the upside came back for a pullback right over here and obviously it's a very clear pullback and now we can see the price pushing up came back for a slight pullback and this is where i entered the trade and actually it's also still pushing to the upside so looking at how it played out caught a beautiful trades actually uh actually let this to run late night had a, a stop loss placed and there we go so very beautiful trades caught up took about two losses and the rest were all in deep profits if you want to take these beautiful trades with me every day and other students just go ahead and fill in your email address i'm going to put the link just down below and i'll send you a free gift immediately so let's make the money and remember once you're in there is no looking back until you get to the top